Hey guys, who else likes uh, real aluminum accessories on their models? I just, I just love real aluminum parts. It, I don't know, it's just really cool to me. I have all kinds of stuff. Bumpers, fenders, air horns, battery boxes. Many different kinds of wheels. Just all kinds of really cool stuff. Air cleaners. You know, anytime somebody makes something, man, I, I jump on it. I love that kind of stuff. But I want to show you some of these wheels I have. Uh, Doug Wagner at Keystone, Keystone Aluminum Model Miniatures. He and I worked on these. I had blueprints that I had made. And uh, he had a machinist make these wheels based off my blueprints. And I worked with him as far as you know, he would ask me, how's this look? No, 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 let's change this, you know. Just make some corrections. I just wanted them to look the best they could be. But, got this Alcoa. And it was Doug's idea to put the design in the outside, which is awesome. They can be displayed by themselves. Has all the correct contours. And I know there's several people making real aluminum wheels now. Before... You were lucky to find anybody making this kind of stuff. But uh, I like these the best. I think these are the most accurate. You know, I, I went to great lengths to make sure that every, every measurement, every detail was just exactly correct. Before Doug's wheels, the only option you had were these by Bill Drennan. And these came out in the 90s. And I think they were 200 per sleeve, which is 10 wheels. Super, super rare now. You'd be lucky to find these. And they're, they're really nice. He made two different kinds. He made them with big holes, the design holes, and he made them with just the regular smaller holes. But man, these, these were it back then. If you had these, you know, this was before any other aluminum truck, truck wheels were ever made. But now... These are just a little better. You know, they get a little more detail. Now, when I designed these, I made them to where they fit both 125th and 124th. In 125th, this would be a 24.5 inch wheel. In 124th, it would be a 22.5 inch wheel. So, it's you can use it on both scales. Many tires fit this wheel. So, uh, I believe these... I'm not sure, don't quote me on this, but they're either $10 or $12 a wheel. And you can get them from Doug Wagner at Keystone Aluminum Model Miniatures. He's on Facebook. You tell him I sent you over there. See if he'll hook you up. That's the Alcoa 10 holes, the, the uh, tubeless that I had him make. While he was doing it, I asked him if we could do split rims also. Uh, a lot of people don't really care mainly because of the the cost but these wheels are the exact same size as your amt kit wheels like the ones in the w925 the peterbilt 359 you know things like that the ones in the auto cars and freight liners are bigger these are the smaller ones 20 inch in real life mine or my design is more correct than the amt wheels on the AMT wheels, there's a step right here that the lug nuts sit on. A raised, elevated, flat area. That's not supposed to be there. Should be It should curve and then go flat. And that's how these do. So they have the correct shape and they're real aluminum. There's also a 10-hole version. These are going on my Smokey and the Bandit build, my 76 LTL 9000 build. And I had him make them without the lock ring because the lock ring on the real trucks is steel and it gets painted. So I figured, well, hell, I'll just grab a lock ring out of the AMT kits. Shoot it whatever color it needs to be. Glue it on, throw a tire on, ready to go. He, I think he makes them now with the lock ring on them also. And you can ask him on that. He also made... 
Peterbilt wheels. The most accurate Peterbilt wheels out there. I think. Got the I, I did a lot of measuring on those holes. I had to go find a real truck, measure the hole. I had to measure how tall the hole was and how wide the hole was. You know, to try to get it as perfect as possible. I love them. I think they came out great. And, just for fun, while I had him, or while he was making the wheels, I said, hey, can you do me a set with no holes? I think that would be really cool for a custom build. Like a whole bag of them somewhere here. Or I got enough for one truck at least. I know that. And he also makes the hubs to go with them. Here's what the no hole wheel looks like. And this is in one of Jamie Rommeler's tires. Really nice drive tires. Moluminum.com. M O L U M I N U M. Right? Moluminum. Like aluminum, but with mo instead of a. Magini Hay. Their uh, show truck, their 351 show truck has these wheels on it. Looks really cool. And here's the hubs. Show you what it looks like with the hub as a front wheel. Or, just as in real life, the same front wheel would be the rear wheel. And there it is with the hub. I didn't line up the holes. These things are CNC machine, man. They're perfect. The holes in the the uh, top hat align with the wheels. And now lug nuts for these wheels. I had two different kinds made. I had them done in aluminum by RB Motion, and I had a guy on Shapeways make them in the 3D print as well. So there's choices out there. RB Motion, I designed an acorn lug nut, a standard lug nut with a, with a short stud, and a spike lug nut. He can make those for, for you. He doesn't keep them in stock, but he can make them for you. On the lug nuts on Shapeways, there's acorn and standard with the stud. So lug nuts are available for these, or if you happen to have wheels, you know you can use them on those wheels as well. That covers those goodies. Now, Doug Wagner in Canada. I'm sorry, Doug Walker in Canada. I always get those two names mixed up. He built a super cool Kenworth T800 uh, logger. Man, I, that thing is just so cool. Every time I see it, I just drool. I love that truck so much. When he had it made, or when he was making it, he had these wheels made. These aluminum ones here. And these are Kenworth wheels. Kenworth design. Just like you have the Peterbilt design, these are Kenworth design. Now I only have a small number of these. So in order to not waste the aluminum ones on the inner duels where they wouldn't be seen, I had some copied into resin to use for the inner duels. Just shoot some Molotov on those and you know they'll look the same but they won't be a real aluminum. And that covers those bad boys. Now kit form services in England had a fairly decent uh, line of real aluminum wheels as well. Um, kind of more for the Euro trucks, but some of them can be used on American trucks. Now, Howard at, Howard Whitehead at KFS is going out of business, so I don't know how much stuff he has less left, but he had the best stuff, man. His, his uh, resin kits were just out of this world. I'm pretty sure 
a different company made these wheels. Oh, gosh, I can't remember the name. It was Letters, MRC, or something like that. But here's a uh, super single trailer wheel. They come with the lug nuts. Little, little tiny screws. Little tiny lug nuts. I got a bunch of these for maybe to use on a tanker build. I thought these would look good on, on a Bial tanker. I got a couple of those. Then you got your high float front. And these are just the Tallery tires, the super singles. But these are supposed to be your front. They kind of look the same, but the super single has your uh, drop center detail. And what that hump is, a lot of people don't know, but what this hump is in here, it allows, it's easier to show you on here. If you look at the outside of the wheel, this hump in here is because they've made this depression right here. And this depression not only strengthens the wheel, but it allows room when you're putting the tire on, it gives it more room so it can be popped over the edge. Let me see if I have a, a non-resin type tire. I did. Where did the little buggers go? Here we go. Throw in a Tallery tire in here. So when you go to install the real truck tire, you're going to put it down in that groove like that. And then you're going to work your bead around this is on a real tire. It's not hard on a model. But that's why they put that there in order to help with installing the tires. That's what the tire guy told me anyways. Watch me be wrong. And then when they get to this part, they just work the bead around. And voila! You get a dirty, dusty tar. So that's how, that's how uh, Doug's wheels look with the uh, Itallery tires. So this would be a 22.5 in a N124. And I showed those, showed those. I know you guys love fenders. These are from Jamie Rommeler. And they are, I don't know if I can say they're the best because so many people make fenders. But they are damn nice, man. These are top notch. These things are really nice. Jamie is a very meticulous person like myself. And he's a master fabricator in real life. So he knows what he's doing. That's why you see all the really nice aluminum stuff that he makes and all the resin. The guy knows what he's doing. But these are fully polished. They have plastic on them to protect them until you go to use them you just peel it off but the best thing about his is they have the nice rolled edge on both sides and that's not common guys a lot of people make fenders and they just take a strip of metal and bend it they don't put that nice rolled edge on there huge difference and he's made them like this triple single you know, whatever size you need, you can get with him if you're looking for some. Moluminum at, or I'm sorry, moluminum.com or Jamie Rommeler on Facebook. It's easier to get him through his uh, his uh, private messenger. And if you have any questions on like where to get this stuff, leave a comment below and I'll see if I can help you out. I haven't looked into how to answer comments yet, but I'm sure I can figure it out. Mm. Let me show you some more goodies here while I'm at it. I got these years ago from a, a guy called the Toy Maker. These were way before anybody else offered aluminum fuel tanks. They're hollow, and they got the bands machined onto them. I really like that. I like them just smooth so I can put the rubber insulator strip and then the chrome band and I got a ton of them from Jamie 
I got big ones, little ones, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, this, I believe, I got from... Oh, Jamie made this. Aluminum headache rack with the uh, diamond look doors, or whatever you call that. Just hollow on the back. All bent. They're just laying in there. They're not glued or anything. Just something cool to have. Throw on a build. Um, real aluminum fenders from... I hope I'm not getting his name wrong. His name is Eves Uber. Y-V-E-S. Uber. And I'm not sure where he's located. Let's see if it says. Western Australia. And that's how you contact him. And this is what they look like. On a model they have a light polish they have both edges rolled like Jamie's and they come with these little brackets these are all separate pieces and pre-bent rods you just got to figure out you know these aren't glued in or anything you can I can move them around if I need to the the rods will pivot but I still got to make uh, simulated brackets for the rods. So I haven't put them on for good yet. But that's his fenders. Jamie also made... These probably get scratched in here. I'll have to repolish them. We got... Oh, these... I don't know where I got these. These are just slabs of stainless. You can polish them up. They're kind of thick. And then got a nice bent corner Texas bumper. Polished stainless. Uh, a uh, a, long, a wider, taller, however you say it. And it has rolled edges. Real thin. Another one with the rolled sides, stainless, and another one. I probably got these for a specific build, but I can't remember. Jamie also made me some half fenders. Now these only have the rolled edge on one side. All polished. Let's see what else. Visors too. I just I don't know where they're at. Got a reefer tank, a reefer fuel tank. I forget where I got this. And then I got a whole drawer full of air cleaners in the other room, and they, the, his air horns. Uh, uh, Jamie makes really nice air horns. They're machine polished. They got the the open end, and you just got to come up with little mounts for them. But man, they're nice. But just wanted to share some of the aluminum goodies I have. Um, like I said, if you want to know more about if you can get them and where you can get them, leave a comment below. And as soon as I see it, you know, I'll try to get back to you and let you know. You can also find me on Facebook, Ben Wicker, and you can send me a, a PM. I look at the little top where, you know, if you're not on my friends list, I check to see if people that are not on my friends list are sending me messages so if you send a message i'll see it but uh if you want to know more send me a message and if you like these videos please leave a like and if you want to see more of them just hit subscribe and youtube will let you know when i make more so hope you like it see ya